Hi guys, I'm Katie, a makeup artist based in New York. Um, today I'm doing a cat eye flick look. Hope you're enjoying videos on YouTube. Um, so let's get started. So first of all, I'll be using a Cover FX uh, anti-aging smoothing eye primer. Uh, Wet n Wild sort of beige uh, peach coloured eyeliner just for the waterline. Um, I'll be neatening up my brows with a uh, Benefit Brow Bar. Comes in a powder and a sort of waxy texture to fix your brows in place. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the key product, which is this Stilla Black Liquid Eyeliner, waterproof all day, perfect, best thing on the market. Um, and then just for a, a little bit of a shadow color, I'm gonna be using a lighter shade from the Urban Decay uh, smoky collection. Just these two colours here. So to start off I'm going to be using a bit of primer just all over the lid just to make sure anything that goes on stays on. Next I'll be neatening up my brows with the Benefit Brow Bar Two shade. This is the uh, the the darkest brown shade. Comes with two little br brushes and some mini tweezers. I must be defining and filling in the gaps. And then just to give them a little brush out. There we go. That will really frame your face. Um, next up, I'm choosing a lighter color from this shadow palette. I'm going to use this number 13 and just do it all over the lid. And then with just a slightly darker but still quite natural shade I'm gonna just do the crease and corners just for a bit of shape. Okay. Blend that out. Okay, next I'm going to take this peachy colour. Now you could use white, but I quite like using this peachy colour because it's a bit more natural. And just go along the waterline um, on the bottom of your eye, and this will just um, make your eyes kind of go wider. So always use a lighter colour on the, on the waterline because that will um, make your eyes seem bigger. You can even just do this little top bit up here as well. Just to make your eyes seem really wide. Then we are going to go in with the eyeliner. So um, you can do lots of great things with the eyeliner and it's a really great way of making your eyes um, seem a different shape to what they are. So if your eyes tend to slope down, you can actually draw your eyeliner more straight across or up and it will give the illusion that your eyes actually um, slant upwards or are more wide. So first thing I always do is run the eyeliner right as close to the lashes as you can just across the top. Don't go too close to the edge. And then you want to form where you want your flick to be. So I'm going to just on the corner, flick it up here, like that. Make sure it's pretty even on both sides. And then you just bring this line to join this line. And fill in the gap. Takes a bit of practice and don't worry if you mess up because you can always use a cotton bud to wipe away any mistakes. Okay so from the peak there down to the bottom. Just remember to make sure you've got a line that goes really close along the top of the lashes. There's nothing worse than having a gap. Okay, you can see like this eye is sort of flicking up a little bit more. So what I want to do is 
even it out on this side. You can kind of go as big as you want with this, so could just stop here or keep going. Right, I'm just gonna get a cotton bud to neaten up any misses. Here we go. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to take this fantastic NARS Audacious Mascara, Black Moon. Fantastic mascara, look at that. Okay, and run it along the bottom lashes. Remember, always twist, never pump. A couple of coats of mascara. Can never have enough. And I'm just gonna do one more layer of the bottom lash. And there you go. The classic cat eye flick, a la Emma Stone.